Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to go ahead and use Xactimate Mobile to go ahead and do a quick sketch and put your line items in. So I'm going to go ahead and click the menu at the top right. And we're going to go ahead and draw a room. So I'm just going to kind of click and draw. If you double click inside the room, it will kind of zoom you uh, to extents of the room. So let's we'll go ahead and click on this wall here and we want to adjust the size of that wall. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want to edit by clicking down at the bottom here. And I'm going to edit it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot my Bluetooth Disto, get a measurement, and I just shot my measurement right there. So we'll adjust that room size there. I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want to adjust it this way. And I will shoot my room size here. And I've just created my small room. So I'll pull that out into the center here. I can click here and let's do the room properties. Let's go ahead and click and tell it the name we want. And this right here is the corner bedroom. Now in that corner bedroom, I might have a closet. So let's go ahead and pop our closet in here. We'll do that little break here. And I got a closet that comes inside the room here. So we'll go ahead and make that a closet as a sub room here. So we're going to go ahead and call that our closet. And it's a sub room of that corner bedroom. Let's go ahead and drop a door in. And we're going to go ahead and drop a window in to that room. And also we're going to drop a door into there as well. And let's go ahead and rotate that door to swing the prop wall. So there we go. Simple as that to draw this little room. If we needed to go ahead and drag our hallway coming off, we're just going to click that wall and we're going to drag it out and say, yeah, let's go ahead and make that a hallway right here. So we'll click and make that a hallway. And there's that hallway. And we can go ahead and make it a missing wall right here. Coming off of it. So it's as simple as that to go ahead and draw a quick couple of rooms. And if we want to now add line items in here, I can go ahead and click in that bedroom. I'll open up our menu and I'll create a couple quick macros in here. So let's say we're going to go ahead and do some knock down texture on our ceilings. So I've got a heading in here for ceiling and we've got some insulation, some germicide, some drywall, knock down texture. So let's go ahead and say we want to adjust and the things we don't want, we're going to uncheck. I'll hit the plus. And then under my line items for there, you'll see I have insulation, germicide. Uh, so let's say we're going to go ahead and replace 32 square feet. I currently have it listed as the full ceiling, but we'll go ahead and do 32 square feet. We're going to change it at the same quantity of our insulation. And we'll do the same amount of germicide as well. So we're going to go ahead and do our knockdown texture, ceiling paint the entire ceiling. It's as simple as that to put line items into your estimate. So if you've not taken an Xactimate mobile class before, you talk about want to increase productivity out in the field. You can typically, once you understand how to use mobile, you can go ahead and write a full estimate. You can sketch it, put your photos in, and put your line items in in about five minutes uh, on a room, uh, for a standard size room, once you understand how to do it. So uh, check us out. Uh, you may want to take one of our trainings. Uh, we'd love to help you out and help you knock down that cycle time and, and leap uh, and bounds above all your competition.